Caracal cats, scientifically known as Caracal Caracal, are medium-sized wild cats. Caracals have a wide distribution, primarily found in Africa, where they inhabit a range of habitats including savannas, deserts, woodlands, and rocky terrain. They are also found in parts of the Middle East and South Asia. Caracal populations are threatened by habitat loss due to human development and agriculture. They are also hunted for their fur and in some areas to protect livestock. The conservation status of caracals varies depending on their location, but they are generally classified as a species of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Caracals have been featured in various cultures and myths. They are sometimes associated with grace and agility in folktales and are also known for their use in falconry in some regions. Many caracals have a tawny or reddish-brown coat that serves as effective camouflage in various habitats, such as savannas, deserts, and grasslands. In some regions, caracals may exhibit a more sandy or pale coloration, especially in arid environments where this lighter coat can help them blend into the surroundings. Caracals often have a few faint spots on their belly and legs, which are not as prominent as those found on larger wild cats like leopards or cheetahs. They have a compact, muscular body that provides strength and agility. This physique allows them to jump to great heights and cover significant distances while hunting. Caracals have relatively long and powerful legs, which enable them to leap into the air to catch birds in flight. Their legs are adapted for stealthy stalking and rapid acceleration during the chase. Their tails are relatively short compared to their body size and are bushy with a black tip. The tail aids in balance and may help with communication among other functions. Caracals have a small, rounded head with short, rounded ears. Their ears are adorned with striking black tufts at the tips. They possess sharp teeth and retractable claws, which they use for capturing and dispatching their prey efficiently. Caracals have excellent eyesight and keen hearing, which are critical for locating prey. Their sense of smell is also well developed. Their tawny or reddish-brown coat provides effective camouflage in their natural habitats, helping them stalk prey without being easily noticed. The caracal's build is well suited for their hunting strategies, which often involve stalking and ambushing small to medium-sized prey. They are known for their impressive leaping abilities, which allow them to catch birds in mid-air, and their agility and speed contribute to their success as hunters. The size of a male caracal is approximately 50 to 60 centimeters and the weight typically between 13 to 18 kilograms, while the size of the female caracal is similar to males, about 50 to 60 centimeters and the weight is generally lighter, typically around 10 to 13 kilograms. It's important to note that individual caracals may vary in size and weight, and the specific measurements can depend on factors like geographic location, habitat, and access to prey. These size and weight ranges provide a general idea of the sexual dimorphism and typical size of caracal cats in the wild. Caracals are primarily solitary animals, and they tend to avoid social interactions with other caracals, except during the mating season or when a mother is caring for her kittens. Caracals establish and defend territories, which they mark with urine, feces, and scent markings. These territories can vary in size depending on factors such as the availability of prey and habitat quality. While caracals can be active during the day, they are primarily crepuscular and nocturnal, meaning they are more active during dawn and dusk. Their activity patterns help them avoid extreme temperatures and competition with other predators. While caracals can be active during the day, they are primarily crepuscular and nocturnal, meaning they are more active during dawn and dusk. Their activity patterns help them avoid extreme temperatures and competition with other predators. While caracals can be active during the day, they are primarily crepuscular and nocturnal, meaning they are more active during dawn and dusk. 
Their activity patterns help them avoid extreme temperatures and competition with other predators. When two caracals cross paths in overlapping territories, they may engage in confrontations to establish dominance. These encounters can result in vocalizations, hissing, and occasionally physical combat. Caracals are skilled and efficient hunters. They rely on stealth, patience, and agility to stalk and ambush their prey. They often hide in vegetation or rocky outcrops, waiting for an opportunity to pounce on unsuspecting prey. One of the most remarkable behaviors of caracals is their ability to leap into the air to catch birds in flight. Their powerful hind legs and agility allow them to make high jumps to capture flying prey. Caracals are skilled bird hunters, and they can capture birds in mid-flight. They often target ground-nesting birds and may also hunt perched birds. They prey on a variety of small to medium-sized mammals, including rodents, hares, and small antelope species. Caracals are known for their stalking and ambushing techniques when hunting mammals. Caracals may consume reptiles, such as lizards and snakes, especially in arid or desert environments. Insects like grasshoppers and beetles are occasionally a part of their diet, particularly during times when other prey is scarce. In some regions where they have access to water sources, caracals may hunt fish, especially when prey on land is limited. Caracals may consume reptiles, such as lizards and snakes, especially in arid or desert environments. Insects like grasshoppers and beetles are occasionally a part of their diet, particularly during times when other prey is scarce. In some regions where they have access to water sources, caracals may hunt fish, especially when prey on land is limited. Hares are a common prey item for caracals, and they are agile enough to capture these fast-moving animals. In some cases, caracals may also hunt domesticated animals, such as poultry and small livestock, which can bring them into conflict with humans. Caracals typically have a well-defined mating season, although the exact timing can vary depending on geographic location and environmental conditions. In general, the mating season for caracals often occurs during late summer to early autumn. During the mating season, male caracals may compete for the attention of females. Courtship behaviors, which may include vocalizations and displays, help individuals establish mating opportunities. Once a pair has formed, they engage in copulation, which can be repeated several times. During the mating season, male caracals may compete for the attention of females. Courtship behaviors, which may include vocalizations and displays, help individuals establish mating opportunities. Once a pair has formed, they engage in copulation, which can be repeated several times. The mother is solely responsible for caring for and raising the kittens. She provides them with milk and warmth in the den, and she grooms and protects them. During this period, she may leave the den to hunt and bring back food to nourish her kittens. As the kittens grow, they transition from solely nursing to consuming solid food. This process usually begins when they are a few weeks old and continues until they are a few months old. Young caracals begin to become more independent as they grow, and the mother gradually teaches them essential hunting skills. Eventually, they leave the den to explore their surroundings and practice their hunting techniques. When the kittens reach a certain age, they disperse to establish their territories and lives as solitary individuals. The timing of this dispersal can vary, but it generally occurs around the age of one year. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.